Hi there guys, Adam from The Beard Solution here with another Don't Fail The Scale episode. This is the series where I try and get a little bit more fit. So if you want to follow me along my fitness journey, then stay tuned in this video as we look at my second month results. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as well. Without further ado, let's get into the update. <laughs> So guys, I want to get through this as quickly as possible, but I do have quite a bit to update you on. The first thing I want to talk to you about is my current nutrition plan. The second of which I want to talk to you about is my current workout routine, and I've got some gym footage as well. And thirdly, I want to talk to you about current stats, and I'll be showing you some video footage and some photos as well to show you the difference from January, February, and March. So you guys can help, obviously, guide and give me some advice along the way. So first off, let's get into the nutrition aspect of it. Okay guys, so nutrition. Uh, the first thing to talk to you about is the fact that I listened to you guys and I switched to the ketogenic diet, although the macros that I'm running on that are actually 65% fats, 30% protein and 5% carbs. So probably a little bit more of a modified Atkins than a strict keto, uh, but I do think that it has helped me this month. So thank you to each and every one of you that has suggested that. I know the bulk of that weight that I will have lost this month will have been water weight, but I do think you can see, and we'll look at the photos in a bit, some fat loss. So I'm gonna start showing you some photos of the foods that I've been eating, which is why I've been enjoying ketogenic diet so much, because, you know, obviously it's high in fat and, you know, moderate protein, and they're the kinds of foods that I love and that I was really missing out on on my, you know, higher carb, low fat diet. So I do actually think I've seen better results on the ketogenic diet so far. A lot of that is probably water weight, but progress nonetheless. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you some of my gym footage and just talk through my routine. So I am actually listening to you guys. Um, I have switched to a full body three times a week workout with two accessory days, which is where I focus on my neck and I also focus on my abs and triceps and biceps. Um, but as you can see, my form not great here on the bench press. I'm not used to using the barbell. I'm doing three sets of six. Um, so I'm just trying to slowly but surely improve my form as I'm not used to using the bar uh, but hopefully we'll get there this month. I'm also doing below the knee rack pulls because I'm not quite flexible enough to do the deadlifts. I know you guys keep mentioning that to me but I'm just not flexible enough so I don't want to injure my lower back. Uh, for these I am doing three sets of eight reps. For the overhead press I'm trying to focus on form here and just come down a little bit slower. I'm using only about 27 and a half kilos here because my shoulders aren't particularly strong but again doing three sets of eight reps on this particular exercise. Squats. What can I say about my squat form? It's not great. I'm quite tall so squats are never going to be my strong suit. Uh, I can just about get below parallel but not quite as to grasp because of my hip abductors and also my, uh, my hamstrings are quite tight but trying to go for three sets of eight reps at the moment. Going to keep working at it guys but I don't think this is ever really going to be my particular strong suit due to my height and the leverages that I have. Next up is seated calf raises. Now we don't have a standing machine at my gym so had to settle for the seated. Uh, I'm doing three sets of eight again uh, just really trying to focus on increasing the size of my calves. I've got quite long calves so I don't know how much luck I'm going to have with that. So this is a chest superset that I saw Gabriel Say doing on Instagram. I follow him on YouTube as well, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to add that into my routine. So essentially, it's a uh, you pick a low weight, around about 7.5 kilos I've got here on each dumbbell, uh, and you do a neutral chest press followed by a dumbbell fly, obviously on an inclined bench, as you can see. And I do three sets of 15 reps. I follow this up with another superset where I do a T-bar row, which I've recently just started doing. I much prefer this over the bent over row. And I do three sets of 10 of these. But in between each set, I am actually adding three sets of eight um, push-ups. So I'm trying to use, obviously, opposite muscle groups for that particular superset. But I do feel as though that gives me a nice little burn towards the end of the workout. And I'm finishing off my full body day by doing some assisted pull-ups because I can't quite do them without the assistance of a machine just yet, but I'm hoping to get there very soon. So this is just three sets of six, but looking to increase that rep range this month and also reduce down on the assistance of the machine. 
So guys, I am now going to share with you my statistics for this month. Obviously, I'm not going to go through each and every single one of them because there's quite a lot to get through, um, but I will be sharing with you the more significant ones. So I'm going to put them up on screen over here, uh, and I'm going to just quickly go through with you the changes. So uh, the first thing to note is that my waist has gone down again by another two inches this month, which is really good news in my opinion. Um, also, my body fat has apparently dropped by uh, over 4% down to 14.8%, but I've rounded that up to 50 I think I'm probably actually slightly higher than 15 by looking at me, um, but that's the current stats that I've got out of the online calculator that I use. Uh, and also my body weight has dropped down by 8.4 pounds to 183.4 pounds overall. Um, now that is not the lightest I've been this month, but is still very positive in my opinion. Um, so I was actually two pounds lighter yesterday, which was my lightest for the month, but unfortunately as soon as I've hit March, somehow I've gained a couple of pounds overnight. Um, I'm going to share with you some of my videos now and progress photos and whatnot just to show you the difference from month to month. Uh, and I think you can see there has been a significant change in my body composition. I think I've definitely started to lean out a little bit. But that's where I come to you guys for advice. What do you guys think I should do now? Do you think I'm at a lean enough level that I should go on a bulk? Or do you think that I should continue doing maybe another month of a, of a cut before I jump on my next bulking cycle? Uh, I say next, my first first bulking cycle which I'll probably do for around about six weeks. Um, let me know what you think, I'll put a little card up here for you guys to have a little vote on that um, and please do feel free to pop any of those ideas in the comments below. Guys that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that you've been able to see a significant change in me. Obviously, I've changed my workout routine to be a lot more of a full body um, routine with slight accessory days here and there. I've changed things up a little bit this month, but I do feel as though they have made some positive changes. Let me know what you think. Um, and if you did like this video, please do hit the like button. It really does help me out. And don't forget to subscribe if you like videos like these or you want to see more of the beard videos because I still do do those as well. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you again next time. All these rappers faking, I tell them tuck your chain in Cause where my youngest came in, I swear they had him skating Started popping rappers, Tom started confiscating Your niggas still trying to make a rep and get some ratings On the man I'm new to this, these man aren't